So we've been hearing some things about uh, the Garneau Quebec or team and six wins in seven days or something like that. And so uh, we're going to try to catch up with them and talk to Phil Quartz, the uh, uh, director, team manager, and then try and talk to some of the riders and see if we can get uh, the lowdown on what's been going on with the team's great results. Benjamin. Hey, Phil. How you doing? Good, how you doing, buddy? Very good, too. Is the timing good now? Yeah, it's great. Okay, perfect. So, uh, so pretty amazing stuff going on for the team right now, eh? You're in Pennsylvania. Tell us a little bit of what's going on. Well, we just finished, uh, we just finished, uh, a big series of crits, crits and road races and, uh, and whatnot. That's at the Chesco Grand Prix in Pennsylvania, I understand? Yeah. So the Chesco Grand Prix is a new, uh, it's a new series that um, is put together by Dave Chana, the organizer of, uh, of Philly. Okay. Um, he, um, he created it for uh, basically to, to sustain and to, to develop cycling in the area um, and uh, bring, bring more local awareness to, to the sport. Okay, sounds... Um, so basically, it's a it's a vicious circle because it's gonna help uh, it's gonna help develop um, like the the awareness and the sponsorship for the Philadelphia um, International. Okay. Um, so basically, in doing that, he at the last minute put this together, um, all focused on Team GC. So basically, we were allowed eight riders registered, but. Um, only uh, only five guys racing per day, and the top three guys counted towards team points. Okay. Um, so it's kind of it was kind of an interesting series um, in, in terms of that because you know even even with wins, um, you know you you had to place guys all the time, and uh, you know our guys placed every day. Um, we, we had uh, we placed basically every day except for one. We had two guys in the top ten. Um, which you know really helped. Uh, it helped a lot. Absolutely. So you won the team GC, I understand. Yep, we won the we won the team GC. Um, Bruno won three stages, three criterium stages, and the time trial. Wow. Um, so that you know that that was a uh, it was a we knew we knew he was on form, but I think he, uh, he it was. He even surprised himself on winning as much as we did. Sure. Um, and uh, you know we have to be we we're super pleased with that. It also was a good series to allow us to um, you know to bring riders uh, that haven't raced very much all year mm -hmm. um, up to speed and to uh, and basically get some development races under their in their legs. So you know it helps a lot that we're we're winning development races. Sure. What was the so, uh, what was the attendance like? Um, you know, uh, there is there is about fifty to sixty guys every day. Um, max field was ninety. Um, so you know it's you know it's fairly good. And the road race was a little bit bigger. Um, with the road race had about a hundred uh, hundred and ten starters, I think, mm -hmm. and uh, Remy. Uh, Remy finished second in the road race. Oh boy! So, um, so you know, it's you know, again there, it's good. Uh, it was a good race for her, for us as well. Um, we didn't win, so that was the only thing that was a little bit <laughs> <laughs> like of uh, it, it, it allowed a little bit of breathing room and allowed uh, you know other teams to take a little bit of uh, the cake. Sure. So. But you're on the podium. Uh, it sounds like you're on the podium on at every race, which is, uh, yep. you know, that's a nice feather in your hat. Yeah, for sure. And then, um, and then off last night we did uh, the U.S. Crit Series uh, that was in Westchester, the Iron Hill Twilight. Right. And um, you know, a really super fast, super fast race. Um, over half the field was shelled by like lap 15 mm -hmm. um and you know we had we basically had four guys up there coming into the final 
with three laps to go. Um, Jeff Schiller got a flat, so that was kind of untimely. But uh, but it, you know, it, it it was what it was. And uh, you know, with three laps to go, there was a there was a German off the front for about twenty five laps um, solo at about twenty seconds, and with three laps to go, Bruno bridged across to him, and uh, you know wisely won the sprint so he did his thing so so we you know to top it all off the people you know there's bobby lee's team was at the whole series so you know you've got there there was a bunch of caliber but you know with the usa grid series there's there's not only caliber but there's money and a little bit of luck involved because there's you know 140 guys on the start line to a, a super tight four corner crit mm-hmm. um and you know we we came out on top, so we're super happy about that. Yeah, so that's five wins for Bruno in the last uh, you know week or ten days, eh? In ten days, yeah. That's a pretty good follow up to his Bose win, eh? Exactly. So I think uh, you know, I think with Nationals, we you know with the weather and the conditions at Nationals, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily in our favor mm-hmm. um, for Bruno. But, you know, had, had things been different, I think we would have seen a way different outcome. Mm-hmm. So that's going to do lots for his confidence, eh? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, do you, uh, do you want to talk to him? Absolutely. Sure, if he's there. All right. Cool. Yeah, I'll thanks. pass him over. Okay, thanks, Phil. Hello. Hey, bonjour, mon ami Bruno. Hey, hello. Hey, it's going well, but I think it's going better for you, mon ami. That's yeah, it's, uh, it's getting good. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm riding uh, strong, so uh, that's good for, uh, for for me and the team for sure. Absolutely. So you know, you're uh, on the podium is one thing, but winning races is another. That's uh, that's got to make you feel really confident, eh? Yeah, I mean, it's always good for the you know uh, how do you say like uh, you get a win and you get like you said confidence and then. Uh, get the momentum of uh, winning so uh, I think it's good so I mean you know back you know you've had three win three wins in a row down at Chesco yeah tell us about uh, those races a bit well uh, I felt pretty good after uh, you know uh, after uh, you know I prepared myself for uh, both and national and uh, I think I might peak form went uh, a little bit late you know so I you know by the end of both I was feeling better and then uh, natural I was feeling good but uh, I'm not really good when it's cold and raining so my muscles like were not I, I wasn't feeling super good during the race I had uh, like a, a little bit of a hypothermia for some reason I uh, couldn't eat much so I kind of bunked a bit at the end and uh, those are very tough conditions at Nationals, eh? Yeah, I didn't like it. So, uh, But, you know, like, I recovered from it, and then I came to the, that theory with, uh, you know, fresh legs. And uh, from the first day, I, I saw that uh, I was riding really strong, so uh, I kind of uh, dominated the first uh, three crit. Uh, the second day, I lapped the field and, uh, twice, and then the... The third day was a big course, like a longer course with a good climate, and uh, mm-hmm. I finished solo also. So uh, yeah, I was uh, pretty. Uh, I had like good numbers because I have a power meter, and uh, you know I followed that a lot with my coach, and uh, I hit like one of my best numbers. Uh, so uh, I think the, the form was really good, and uh, I'm still like on the on the wave of. Uh, of that for sure. So uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, how the, the team ride uh, rode and uh, how uh, we did the, the secretary and uh, on top uh, um, the cherry on the Sunday was yesterday uh, when I I won the, the NRC race. Uh, so that just confirmed uh, that uh, you know uh, we were we're competitive with the. Uh, the, the, the team out there, so it's good for, uh, for the confidence of the team and uh, the sponsors, and uh, you know. Yes, for sure. That's a big win yesterday at uh, the Iron Heel, eh? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I 
yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it was a pretty good field. And, uh, I mean, I'm not a great rider because I'm not like, I'm more like all around, but, uh, if the crit is hard and I'm fit, you know, I, I attack and I uh, need to be in the breakaway because, uh, if I don't have a really good sprint. Uh, but, uh, I was opportunist yesterday. My legs were not top, top, but, uh, I race more with my head, you know, than uh, the legs. And uh, sometimes, uh, when you have two uh, good legs, you uh, you you may you spend too much energy, and then uh, you pay it at the end. Uh, or, you know, during the race, you feel you feel good, so you attack a lot, and then you you spend energy, but uh, you don't realize it. And then at the end of the day, uh, it's too late, and uh, you you did too much. But when your your legs are not Super well, you, you're more uh, rich, more like the economy, and then uh, you calculate more your move, and that's what I did yesterday, and uh, it worked. So I, I timed my attack perfectly because uh, there was a team chasing the guy, and then uh, they were chasing hard, and I see they were starting to crack, and then they they looked back, and they were like trying to get other teams working, and then everybody was uh, in the box a bit because it was pretty fast, and. Uh, I saw it happen, so uh, I knew where I had to go. Uh, I had to be, uh, you know, calculate the uh, weight and see if everybody would, if, like, if nobody wanted to take turns, then uh, I knew it was gonna, the peloton's gonna slow down, and that's what happened. And then uh, I, I attacked uh, the right moment, and uh, I was able to catch the German uh, before the, I think, two laps to go, and. Uh, you know, I uh, just uh, recovered in the wheel and uh, did my sprint uh, that I want. So was so, pretty, uh, pretty excited. A big crowd too. You know, uh, sure. it was a lot of people on the course. Uh, it's always good to do like twilight with, uh, you know, like there's like music and uh, they're good. Uh, crank you up, you know. Yeah, it's a good atmosphere for sure. So, uh, Bruno, when you came to the race yesterday, was okay. following so many wins, I think you had four four wins prior to that, uh, in, you know, in that series in, in uh, Chesco, were you yeah. were you thinking, you know, when you come to the line that, hey, here's another one, I'm, I'm ready to take another podium? Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, I was a little bit worried because they were... Uh they were uh, looking for a thunderstorm, and uh, I'm really bad in the rain. I don't. I had a bad crash in Turkey in the rain, and since that, I'm pretty uh, chicken when it's raining. Uh, I can turn, and you know, I'm, I lose all my uh, my you know my uh, confidence. But uh, I got lucky because the the storm passed like uh, a little bit further, where like a few drops. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I was pretty confident. The, the only thing I was scared of it is because part of the, the peloton were doing the series and then they knew that I won uh, and I was like uh, dominating the, the series. So I, I knew I was a marked man because every time I was attacking, uh, those German and, uh, all these guys, they, they were, they didn't let me go. Mm -hmm. Like all race, you know, uh, I tried to uh, to attack a few times, and uh, every time they were people were chasing me, and then uh, so at, at one point I was a little bit uh, disappointed, and I told myself, "Well, I'm just gonna wait the right moment, and uh, I just chill for like ten laps, and uh, spin the front, and spin the leg, and then uh, I, that's where I, I more analyze the race, and uh, that's that's how I." Uh, I uh, I was able to win because uh, I was patient and uh, I, I went for the right moment. And, uh, after that, you know, I suffered <laughs> for two laps and uh, that was it. But it was really hard because uh, I had to do a good effort, a hard effort to, to catch a guy. And uh, I almost didn't make it, so uh, I, I went for broke because if, it, if I... Uh, I didn't make it, I'll finish the act. 
Because if they get the pilot that was catching me one lap to go, I was dead. Yep. But it sounds yeah, like, uh, it sounds like you said, it, it, you know, uh, you also have to race with your head. And that's important yeah. that you, that you decided to wait and chill out for 10 laps and then you found the right moment to bridge. Yeah, because I, you know, at, at the beginning I kind of like take on my shoulder the, you know, sometimes uh, when you're not patient enough. Yes. You take the responsibility of bringing the, the brake back, you know. But uh, that's what I was feeling at the beginning. So I was like keeping attacking and then trying to bridge a gap. And then uh, I, I saw that nobody really uh, wanted to like, work with me or let, let me go. So I just said, you know, you know, uh, I just gambled. I stopped working. And then the uh, first thing you know, uh, two laps after, uh, James team went to the front and then the... They chased me hard, so that was good for me because uh, you know I just like uh, use those team, and then uh, one of my teammates Zach uh, did a pretty good job too, like chasing uh, at the. I mean, like trying to uh, you know keep the gap closer, and uh, so uh, yeah. Sounds good. I I, I kind of uh, you know. Use the other teams that thought because you know I was they were I mean they they wanted maybe more than me to win because they're doing the all the the USD grid theory and then they're going for points and stuff so uh, it's really important for them as their grid rider so I, I just uh, stopped working I said uh, you know what it's on my job to bring it back now so uh, I tried a few times and uh, that's that's how it goes. Yep. So, so let me take you back uh, a few weeks uh, because we spoke not long after your uh, Bose victory. It was the first stage you'd won at Bose. Very, very important. I think uh, it was the, uh, you were the only Quebecer who won a race for the local fans. And uh, it was a big day for you. Your, your family was there. Your friends were there. And uh, I, guess, I guess the question I'm asking is since that day, because it was your first stage win at Bose and it was a good victory, has that pushed you forward to feel that you're capable to do better, to do more, in leading you to these uh, to these other victories? Uh, well, for sure, um, you know, winning that stage uh, was a you know a good push for me and uh, a good confirmation of uh, my cap capability of uh, of winning a hard race, you know, and. Uh, so uh, for sure it helps because it gives you the confidence and uh, you don't hesitate and uh, when you're confident you attack and you know, you, you're more like uh, solid and uh, mentally it's important too because uh, when you can, uh, you know you suffer but you go fast, you know, it's, when you suffer everybody suffers so uh, I think the, uh, that, that what gives you like uh, if you're not able to suffer, well, uh, you're not gonna win a race, even if you're really fit. So, uh, yeah, kind of like realize that uh, you know uh, I was capable of uh, winning uh, a big race. So that's why, for sure, when I do like uh, other races, uh, I know I can win, and uh, I go for the win, yep. or you know, try to make it happen. If it doesn't make it happen for me, I try to uh, make it happen for my teammates. And, at least make the race uh, hard so uh, the strong guys stay there and uh, try to uh, that's what how we race you know uh, all the criteria we make the race hard and uh, that's how we succeed well, it sounds like uh, the success is spreading to the other guys Jeff uh, Jeff Schiller won the Coatesville tr criterium and Remy won the Parksburg criterium so and, and the team won the GC so yeah that was nice to uh, to uh, get you know uh, all the guys uh, the opportunity to do a win or to do a podium, you know, like everybody, uh, like everybody did a podium. So uh, and uh, as you said, like Jeff won a stage, Jeremy, and then Mark got third, and Zach got third also. And uh, so it, it's it's good because we had we were in a winning atmosphere and. Uh, the wins are uh, giving the confidence to the team, and uh, it's good for the. Because these guys are pretty young riders, you know, they, they need uh, 
to build their confidence and their experience. So I think the, how we did this week and the, the past week were really good for uh, for that. Absolutely. So so you're in the car now, uh, Bruno. Where are you guys going? Oh, we're going back home. Uh, had a few uh, few days of rest, and then uh, we mainly gonna race in in Quebec for the uh, rest of the month. Mm-hmm. And uh, for August, we're looking for options, uh, maybe uh, some stage race, but we, we don't know yet exactly what we can gonna do. Uh, exactly, we're waiting on some confirmation for uh, invitation to some races. Right. But uh, for sure, we're gonna do uh, Universe Grand Prix in September, and uh, I think this is the the, the next big. Uh, Oh, it's UCI, so uh, I think this is going to be another big uh, objective for for me and for the team. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, we have a pretty good calendar uh, to build up to uh, get to do those races. What well, sounds like uh, you're gonna you're coming home to a nice homecoming, eh? With all those uh, podiums. What? I said it sounds like you're going to be coming home to a nice homecoming. With all those yeah, podiums. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, it's, it's always nice to have a uh, good result. And, uh, you know, we I've been working really hard uh, this year uh, on my training and uh, pretty strict on my diet and uh, make some changes in uh, my preparation. So uh, and it, even if I'm, you know, I'm 33 years old, I'm, I'm getting older, but uh, every year I... I progress and I get the better cyclist, so uh, for sure it, it, it's positive and uh, it gives me the, the, it gives me the, how do you say, to keep going, you know, the, like it, the, sure, sure, I understand. You know, uh, I was coming from uh, Spider Tech and Continental Team and uh, been racing big races, you know, in Europe and, you know, uh, total race. And coming back to a lower level, it's it's not always easy for the the mental, uh, you know. Like, and at my age, sometimes you ask, why you need to uh, should I keep going or do something else, you know? And uh, but this year, uh, coming back to a lower lower level, uh, I had uh, the opportunity to uh, to be like a leader. And uh, in the past, I was more like an helper like a domestic and uh, uh, so sometimes uh, things happen for a reason and uh, just realize that uh, you know I was able I'm able to uh, to compete and win races also uh, as a leader and also uh, you know it's good for me uh, it's good for the, the, like I said the confidence and the uh, Gives me uh, that that thing uh, gave me the opportunity to, to realize uh, that maybe I was stronger than I thought, and uh, maybe uh, I'm stronger than what people thought I was. I was, you know. Sure. Well, it's great to see uh, the team doing so well, and the, you personally doing so well. It's a uh, good affirmation of uh, of everybody's uh, capabilities and talent. So we want to yeah. thank we want to thank you for spending time with us and uh, sharing the news, uh, the great news, and wish you all the best back uh, back home and at the uh, races for the rest of the season. Yeah, 